Today, we're diving into something that's causing quite a stir in the AI world, Meta's latest release, Llama 3.2. Imagine having the power of advanced AI right in your pocket, or being able to ask your computer about an image as easily as you'd chat with a friend. Well, that future might be closer than you think. Meta has just dropped Llama 3.2, and it's packing some serious upgrades. Let's break it down. First up, we've got vision capabilities. The new 11B and 90B models can now understand and reason about images. Think of it like giving your AI a pair of eyes. But the real game changer, the 1B and 3B models. These little powerhouses are designed to run on edge devices and even some mobile phones. We're talking AI in your pocket, folks. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty. Vision models, the 11B and 90B models, can now handle tasks like analyzing charts, captioning images, and even answering questions about visual content. Imagine showing it a graph of your business sales and asking which month had the best performance. Boom, instant analysis. Edge AI, the 1B and 3B models are optimized for on-device use. They can handle tasks like summarization, instruction following, and even some tool use, all without sending your data to the cloud. Privacy fans, rejoice. Performance, Meta claims these models are competitive with, and in some cases outperform, other leading AI models in their class. The 3B model, for instance, is said to outdo models like Gemma 2 2.6B on various tasks. Llama Stack. This is a new set of tools to help developers work with Llama models across different environments. It's like a Swiss army knife for AI development. Safety. They've also released updated safety models, including one designed specifically for vision tasks. Now, this all sounds impressive, but let's think critically for a moment. On-device AI could be a game changer for privacy and latency, but there's always a trade-off between model size and capability. How well will these smaller models actually perform in real-world scenarios? And while the vision capabilities are exciting, they're not exactly groundbreaking. Other models like GPT-4 have had this for a while. The real innovation here might be in making these capabilities more accessible and open source. Speaking of open source, that's perhaps the most intriguing aspect of Llama 3.2. By making these models available to the community, Meta is potentially accelerating AI innovation but it also raises questions about responsible AI development and potential misuse. In terms of practical applications, imagine a mobile app that could instantly summarize your messages, extract action items, and even schedule follow-up meetings, all without sending your data to a server. Or think about accessibility tools that could describe images in real time for visually impaired users. Now let's take a look at the new 11B and 90B of Llama. So first of all, Meta have partnered with Together AI. Now it's able to use all the large language models from Meta, which is the previous Llama version, and also the updated one, which is the 3.2 version. As you can see in the drop-down menu, we have the 11B Vision Instruct Turbo. We have the 90B Vision Instruct Turbo as well. The previous version, Llama 3.1, is also available here. You can run it for free, and it's served as an endpoint that is calling from the Meta Server API. Now we can try it out using the 3.211B Vision Instruct Turbo. First of all, when you click on Meta Llama 3.211B, you'll have a plus sign enabled on the chat box underneath here where you can upload an image. Because this is a multimodal model, you're able to go through an image or PDF files to read through that content and respond to your questions. So let's say I have an image, for example, which is actually a bedroom image. Then we can ask the chat bot here to start questioning about this image and let's see what its response is. Llama 3.211B is able to tell me very well, not too detailed, but at least it has descriptions of how this bedroom looks. For example, what kind of style? A minimalist aesthetic style with natural light coming through the windows? It's able to tell me about the wall, what kind of color is on the wall, as well as the quality of the texture and the space inside this room. So imagine that you can use this as a service, connect it to your web apps, your mobile apps, and do real-time vision analysis. That's going to be something AI will enhance for us in coming app or software developments. 
Now, I can't say this is a pretty new thing or hype up this vision model because vision models already exist. A lot of companies have created them, like Microsoft created Florence 2, are vision models as well. They're doing pretty well on vision to text, but the text response from here, what I've seen is that it's getting more descriptive about the atmosphere of this bedroom. Rather than telling me very straightforwardly what kind of objects or how many objects are in the room, those are, I would say, what previous vision models would respond with, like how many beds or how many chairs are in that room, etc. But here I can see that Meta has trained these models more using a synthetic way to describe whatever is contained in this image. So let's ask more in depth about this image. For example, what is the bed size? What is this bed suitable for and how many people? So it really replies really fast. Within a very short time when I just press enter, I haven't fast forwarded this video, just going at natural speed, and it just replied to me instantly that this bed from this image appears to be a queen size bed, which is suitable for two people. Queen size beds are typically 60 inches wide and 80 inches long, providing ample space for a comfortable night's sleep for two adults. So yeah, this is really good analysis. Not only is this a large bed or this is only one bed, etc. Those are very basic answers, I would say. Now we have more synthetic answers uh, telling me the details of this object, which in this case is the bed and what kind of bed it is, what it's suitable for in which situations, etc and also doing some reasoning here when there's a reason of 60 inches wide and 80 inches long, which provides for two adults. So you can see that these large language models or multimodal models start having reasoning answers for easier human understanding within those contexts. So let's try another one. It's text on an image and ask the chatbot to analyze it. So let's put these examples here. I've just uploaded image files, which are scanned invoices, for example here. So let's ask about this image and see how it responds. For example, tell me what this document is. So the reply is going to be analyzing this image as classified as an invoice of a company called Stark Industries Limited. And the date is August 8, 2021, which is correct. We have a demo here, as I can show you. This is the full image of this invoice. Then, as you can see, the AI has been really correct in showing the date of this invoice and also the sender. And then the receiver is able to understand that this format is an invoice. And let's ask about those details in here. So let's continue first in here that it has a total amount due of $3,000 and then a discount of 38% with VAT of 21%. So let's ask for more inspection in a specific way, like tell me the average cost per item in this invoice. This time I'm going to ask something related to a little math question about this image, what is in this image content as well, and also ask what the most expensive item is. So let it analyze each item in this invoice scanned image. Let's see how good the vision of this language model is. So the reply here is that the average cost per item in this invoice is $498. And then the most expensive item is the brand illustration, which costs $498. So that's going to be the same amount as the average cost. We'll check that later. And this item is listed as a single item with a quantity of one, and the price is the same amount. So let's check it out. We have the brand illustration, which is for $498. And as you can see, there are other items as well in here. But actually, this is not an item. This is classified by date by September, October, November, etc. And this is classified as a task. So let's ask about tasks in the next question. But I can say that this is right because in my question, I'm asking about the items in this invoice. So let's go for the task. Maybe I'll do some tricky wording and see if this large language model is able to understand this. Let's ask about the task service cost, but I'm not going to use the task as a keyword in this question. So what is the other list of costs in this invoice? Tell me what kind of service that is. Okay, so it can analyze each other's cost, competitor analysis, 
everything. And you can see that this is not only analyzed by text on this image. As you can see, there are some descriptions here. Competitor analysis, market research, keyword analysis, analysis, content strategy, etc. All these things are going to be in the descriptions, which is kind of right. But I assume that it will also show me the date of this period of time, which is the task in September, October, and November. So I assume that they have a pretty good understanding of the context already, as it can show that this company from the sender is sending like a marketing consultation service of all these small tasks within this package of service. So I can say, give it a pass for the reasoning of this large language model. Right now, even in the 11B parameters, so I think this is a pretty good performance overall for the Llama 3.2. Right now, again, the small parameter 1B and the 3B are available to download on Hugging Face. You can download this on Hugging Face 1B and 3B. And of course, you have the 11B vision you have right here underneath, but it will be a lot of memory consuming. So it is kind of hard to run this kind of large parameter size model on a local PC or consumer level PC. So I suggest we can just try out the 1B and 3B of the Llama 3. That is good enough. Although these 3Bs and 1B do not have the vision features. Well, their performance as small size parameter language models is doing pretty well based on what they said in the benchmark. But again, we can't always rely on the benchmark as the standard performance of everything. We have to try it ourselves, see if that is really the case suitable for what our usage is and we can evaluate by ourselves based on what we have. And that is it for this video. This is a pretty cool update from Meta, although I'm not really a big fan of their company in the social network service, but right now they are starting to transition into AI and providing all these cool AI models. So we are going to look forward to seeing how good the Llama model family is going to improve in the future. Until next time, we keep exploring more about AI. See ya.